Hey guys, it's Cassie. Today I'm going to be talking about hot new luxury items that I am not buying this season and why. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Luxury items are honestly dropping all of the time. And you know what? Sometimes they hit for you personally and sometimes they really don't. So let's kick it off with the Louis Vuitton croissant bag. Okay, I spoke about this in my Louis Vuitton spring summer review video, but initially when I saw it, and I just don't know if it's just because my Instagram was plagued with the bag, really couldn't escape it, but I really, really considered, and I was like, okay, do I need this bag? Like the chain of it is very me, the chain aspect. But then I was like, how many chain bags does one need considering that like the chain trend is very much a trend? Not that like I have my Bottega chain cassette bag, right? And it's like, I'm re I love that bag. I'm really happy with it despite it wanting to kill me. The chain aspect is quite trendy. It's not personally a trend that I am just going to get rid of once we're over it because chains are very much me, right? First of all, it was like, do I need another chain bag? Then, aside from the chain bag, it was like, I bought a Birkin in December, my Prada re-edition in January, what, I'm gonna buy this bag in February and I've got a, this like tiny Chanel bag that I want to buy in March. I'm like, this is getting ridiculous. I can't be like out here buying a bag a month. Like, I don't even go out, like. <laughs> so then it was like, okay, like let's try and be a responsible ad adult. And then on top of that, when I like really started to look into it a bit further, I was like, do you want to know what this isn't even the perfect version of this bag for me they should have made it smaller they should have put less compartments i think that they should have brought back the mark jacobs miroir that is terrible isn't it i'm sorry i'm sorry for all my francophiles collection back i think they should have given us that patent embossed monogram in the silver and gold if you would have given me that in gold gold chain little like that it did not need the canvas strap this would have absolutely killed it i always preach on this channel that you need to be 100 percent and obsessed with the item before you buy it and do you want to know what it was a time when i was like so don't practice what you preach like you never buy something that you're not like i love it and i don't love it that much so that's why i'm not buying it okay i also i've heard two types of comments about this bag number one it looks like a pencil case um, I don't know about you, I didn't have those kinds of pencil cases in school, but okay. And then the other one was, it's a toiletry pouch with a strap, and that was just like, oh, I can't stand behind that, then can I? Oh god. Hot new luxury item number two that I'm not buying, that I'm actually like a little bit terrified about the fact that this has, um, is growing in popularity from what I have seen, these new Chanel sandals. Okay, so dad sandals, like I'd grown accustomed to. I was like, it's not for me, but go off sis. Love what you're doing over there for you, whatever. Then they brought out these orthopedic ones uh, in a foam with like neoprene. No, I love neoprene for clothing because it like, it looks, it keeps its structure. On the shoes, it's going to look like a water shoe of sorts, right? And when were water shoes ever sexy or like chic or fashionable? They weren't. So they've taken that, they've made it orthopedic. Also, once again, orthopedic and chic, sexy, stylish, fashionable, mm, those Venn diagrams aren't crossing. We're not, those are mutually exclusive, all right? No, I'm seeing these popping up and I'm like, let's not do this to ourselves, all right? When, why? Mm, why did we need a high top version of this, right? It also, in my humble opinion, looks a little bit cheap for Chanel. Using like the f the neoprene and the Velcro and whatever, I'm like, mm, this is not, this is not the quality of, this is not the caliber of materials usually used. I, I, I shan't be buying it because they shouldn't have been made in the first place. <laughs> okay, hot luxury item number three. This item is hot, okay? really became very popular around Christmas and has stayed. And this is the Prada, I'm gonna call it a puffer jacket, even though it's not your usual puffer jacket style, right? It looks like, you know, a very like tailored coat, but it's puffy and then it's got a belt. Does this look fabulous? Of course it does. It's got a shorter version, a longer version, and either way, it's a glorious, glorious puffer coat, right? Personally, why I'm not, why I'm not buying it, 
I like that more traditional puffer jacket style. It's more my style, you know, it's a little bit more casual, it's a little bit, it's, it's more my vibe personally. This is a, this is a little bit more put together than I usually am. <laughs> And although, although I know that it would like still suit me, I'm just like, do you wanna know what? Like I bought that Fendi puffer jacket, let me have some time with her, you know? Haven't even, like, give me a sodding year before then thinking about other similar, I'm gonna put those two in the similar kind of category there, jackets. While we're talking about puffer jackets, hot item number four is the Dior logo puffer jacket that once again is everywhere, people are loving it. Whether it's influencers have been gifted it, or people out here shelling out their own monies for it, people are loving this jacket. And I see why to a certain extent, right? So I tried this on. Is it a nice logo designer puffer jacket? 100%, I think that's, we, we can all agree on that. The audacity of the price of this jacket is really what's throwing me over the edge. It is 3,800 pounds, right? Um, for a non-reversible puffer jacket. And I, I'm saying this because it actually is reversible, as in you can physically reverse it. However, it's boring as hell on the other side. So if you're not gonna wear it on like the logo oblique side out, the other side is literally just like a navy puffer jacket. It is just boring as hell, no detailing, right? 3,800. I compared it to two other brands. Louis Vuitton have got their monogram puffer jacket, not reversible, but they're selling theirs for 2,740, right? So again, it's like, why are you a grand up? What, what, what are we up to over here? Then, let's compare it to my Fendi one. My Fendi puffer jacket, absolutely love that sodding thing, right? 1,850, reversible, and the other side is just as exciting as the first side. You've got all monogram one side, and then the other side is, is plain black, but then you've got a monogram trimming down the arms. So you still get a little bit of fire, my gosh. Recently, my mum was, I was like talking about my wish list and whatever, and my mum was like, oh, what about that Dior jacket? And I was like, for 3,000? 800 pounds and you're not even gonna give me fire on both sides. No, thank you. I'm not falling for this scam. Item number five, hot luxury item number five. They're really pushing this. This is the Valentino. I'm just gonna say anything from the Valentino Rose Edition. They've got some bags going on here. It looks like a load of free Chanel camellias stuck on a bag, right? Just the free ones that you get off the bag and somebody's just got, let's just put a load of them on a bag. So red spray paint valentino rose edition also the texture of load of those annoys me it, it looks like there's too much happening on a bag here i don't know if it's because valentino bags as of late haven't been the hottest thing around uh, mm, but this isn't this isn't it sis so it's a no from no thank you hot lip shirt in number six few of you have been sending me pictures of this this is the prada crystal scrunchie on first impressions, you're like, oh my gosh, a crystal scrunchie, how fabulous. Oh my gosh, shine, shine from the top of my ponytail, from the bottom of my ponytail. And then you think of the logistics, and I think this is a logistical nightmare. First of all, this getting caught in all of those crystals is going to make me want to shave my head, right? And uh, to which there would be absolutely no use for the scrunchie. It's just, that is going to absolutely kill me. That coming out like, no, I cannot do that to myself. Second of all, if you don't wear it as a scrunchie and you wear it as a bracelet, do you understand how irritating that is? All those crystals scratchy scratch on your wrist. As lovely as it is, it, 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 it's, it's lovely to be. If it was a gift, thank you very much. I will be putting it on my counter as a, as, as a display piece. Um, but she has no use. It. even though she's very cute she's very cute but she has no use another item that i am shocked are the hermes spring summer 2021 clogs at this it, it is at this juncture that i would just like to apologize to any dutch followers i have right apologies i know the clog is a part of your culture so apologies for this as like a recreational fashion piece, the clog is not for me. And I am seeing clogs, clogs are coming up, right? Like we need to get used to this. Givenchy has done their studded clogs that are dropping any time. Hermes, Hermes of all people who love to play things safe, right? Are dropping clogs. It's got a little Kelly lock on the front. You can't, you can't make me wear a clog. Okay, oh, over my dead body would I be seen in clogs. These aren't cute and fun and fashionable to me. No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no. Let me know what you thought of the hot luxury items I'm not buying. What hot luxury items are you not buying this season? I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.